Hey ladies, do you like your men the strong and silent type that can rip a man's head off and throw it about like a basketball? You do? Well have we got a treat for you. Throughout this video we're going to be discussing one of the boys most eligible bachelors, Black Noir. This video will be covering his true identity in the comics, our theories for the show and a lot more that will make you want to dump your favourite breast milk drinking man at home, Lander. I'll, I'll stop doing that voice now. Look, obviously, there will be heavy spoilers here, so if you don't want anything about the comics or potentially the show ruined, then I recommend that you turn off now. Up top, we will be spoiling one of the biggest twists in the source material, and whilst I don't think this will be carried across to the show, it may well be, so yeah, this is your last chance to back out. With that out of the way, I'm your host Definition, aka the guy that's also tall, dark and handsome, according to my mother. Now let's get into the breakdown. Okay, so Black Noir is one of the most mysterious characters in the boys. Very little is actually known about him as far as the comics go, and there's even less when it comes to the show. However, in the source material, it's actually revealed that the character is in fact a clone of Homelander, and we discover that he was created as a contingency plan by Vought in case he ever went rogue. In both the show and comic, he initially hides a lot of his power such as his heat vision, flight abilities and super speed, but the character is capable of all of these, even though on the surface he sort of just seems like a pastiche of Batman. However, that is precisely what makes him so good and why the character goes undetected for so long. He very much fools Homelander into believing that he only has one power set, when really he has exactly the same. Black Noir operates so well because very little is actually known about him. In episode 4 of the second season, Homelander even remarks that the character doesn't have a race, showing that he's never even seen his face. We never hear him speak either, and though I'm sure he has a lovely singing voice to match his skills on the piano, he's kept himself to himself to avoid any suspicion at all. Black Noir is very much Ford's lapdog, and he does exactly what the company tell him to, without question. The show has designed him to look very much like a black Jason Voorhees to hammer home that he's pretty much just a machine that goes wherever they tell him to. Black Noir is a soulless, unfeeling monster that is pretty much that, that thing that Clive Owen was trying to create in Gemini Man, which spoiler alert. Now focusing on his comic book story, in the original work, Black Noir was so used to completing missions that this eventually led to his downfall. After he failed one, he slowly started to go insane, and over time, dressed as Homelander, he began to commit various crimes that involved cannibalism, murder, and sexual assault. In the comics, it was actually revealed that it was Black Noir who was behind what happened to Butcher's wife Becca, and not Homelander. This sparked up a lot of the story in the comics, and gave the boys more motive to kill Homelander, which ultimately led to Homelander fighting back. Black Noir, also Black Mailed Homelander, and though he was initially upset over having no memory of the horrific events, it eventually empowered him to believe that he could do whatever he wanted to. The situation escalated, and thus Black Noir was complicit in Homelander's downfall, making him the true big bad of the comics. When Homelander started the superhero uprising, he slowly went on a rampage that involved murdering the president. Billy rushed to the Oval Office to stop him, and it's at this point that Black Noir revealed himself and his true identity. Homelander lost it and realised he could have been a real hero if he'd not been manipulated by Vought and Noir, and he tried to kill Noir, however he was no pushover, and he actually killed Homelander with his bare hands. Luckily, Homelander had managed to severely weaken Noir to the point that Billy was able to step in, and using a crowbar, he, uh, he completely butchered, butchered the character. Now the show could be going in this direction, but I think it's already hinted to the audience that it's not. Now, the main reason that I don't think that the television counterpart will follow this course is because in the comic book community, the twist is so well known at this point that there's little to no chance that it won't be ruined for, for the general audience. If the show goes on, say for five seasons, there's still three more years in which most of the show's audience will either find out through Google or by watching idiotic YouTubers like myself ruin it. So I really think that they'll be trying something different when it comes to his reveal, and the show has already sort of teased this. Now in the comic books, Homelander says that Noir is the person that he's known the longest, and this is obviously the case because he's a clone of the character. However, in the series we learn that it's actually Maeve, and because of their age and the way people are drafted into the Seven, it's unlikely that this would have been his whole life. 
At best, I'd say even if Homelander was drafted into the Seven in his 20s, then he's only known May for about 10 years, and therefore he's known Noir even less. It's difficult to get the dates exactly right, as we don't know the exact ages of the characters, but it doesn't seem likely that they've known each other that long. We also see in the opening of the second season that Black Noir is badly burned when hunting super terrorists, and if he really was a clone of Homelander, then this wouldn't have left a scratch on him as he's pretty much invincible. Saying all that though, I would love it if we learned that some of the versions of Homelander that we've seen in the show weren't actually him, and there are a couple of times where the breast milking could be tied to Noir and his almost baby-like personality. I doubt it though, because who doesn't love a nice drink of mother's milk, what? Now Edgar also talks down to Homelander quite a lot, and surely he would only do this if he knew he had a contingency plan in place. Noir is pretty much Edgar's lapdog and will do whatever he says, so I think this could highlight that he has made a duplicate. The official boy's Twitter account also posted a photo of the group with some some weird... Is, is that Jack from Jupiter? So, sorry, got a, got a bit sidetracked there. Anyway, they posted this photo, and if you look closely, you can see that Homelander and Black Noir are actually holding the exact same stance and pose. This is a very, very minor detail, but the fact that they're doing this could actually confirm that they are indeed identical. Or maybe not. Now, if he isn't a clone of Homelander, then who else could he be? Now, we do know that actor Nathan Mitchell is playing Noir in the show, but I believe that this is a stand-in until they cast someone. However, Jeffrey Dean Morgan has also been cast in an unknown role in the upcoming third season, and though as of now we know little about who he's playing, I would actually love to see him revealed as Noir. From his portrayal of Negan in The Walking Dead, we know he can pull off this slightly insane side of any character, and I think it would be great if he was revealed under the mask as the villain. Though that might not be the case, I would love it if it is, but I also have another theory that he's actually a clone of Billy Butcher. Now why exactly would this be? Well, we know from the comics that Billy's relationship with the CIA goes way back, and that he'd had several run-ins with the Seven over the years. The show could easily build upon this, and make it so that Vought were aware of just how good he was at fighting soups, and thus they decided to build the ultimate seven contingency plan made from someone who shared an unrivaled hate for the group. I think it would be great if it was revealed that the corporation cloned Billy, and then injected the clone with Compound V. If they gave the clone the right stimulus, it could grow up to hate the seven just as much as Billy does, and it would also make it so that, if it ever came down to it, that Billy would be facing a mirror image of himself which psychologically could completely blindside him. Now, why this would also be interesting is because if they tied things in with the comics and made it so that it was actually Noir that sexually assaulted Becca, then technically Ryan would be made from Billy's DNA and thus on some levels, it would actually be his son. This would allow him to potentially get over the idea of dumping him, which is something that he struggled with in episode four. Again, this could be a reach, but I'd absolutely love to see that as the reveal. Other theories are that it's a clone of Edgar, and uh, which I don't, I don't believe, and that it could also just be the superpowered babies injected with growth hormones. We never see Noir's face, so he would be easy to replace with one of these if anything bad ever happened to him, and Vought do have a steady supply. Again, I don't know if that's true or not, but anyway, it's going to be unlikely that we'll ever find out who he is until the show tells us for definite, but I'd of course love to hear your thoughts on his identity in the comments. If you enjoyed this video then please drop a thumbs up and make sure you check out our breakdown of the fourth episode which is going to be linked at the end. We go over all the easter eggs and things you missed so it's definitely worth checking out if you want to know more. We're also giving away a free copy of the Christopher Nolan collection at the end of the month and all you have to do to be in with a chance of winning is like the video, subscribe to the channel and drop a comment below. If you want to support us so that videos like this can get made then please consider clicking the join button below. You can also come chat news on our Discord server, linked in the description, or heavy spoilers on Twitter. Thanks for making it until the end of the video, you've been the best, I've been Definition, and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.